Just another point and shoot digital camera. Hi, I'm Ed Baig with USA Today and Talking Tech, and this week I'm talking tech about this, the Samsung Memoir. And yeah, it looks like a point and shoot digital camera, but it's actually a camera phone. Now I know what you're probably thinking, doesn't every cell phone practically have a camera built in? Well, the answer is yes. What they don't have are cameras quite as good as this. This is an 8 megapixel digital camera that puts in the company of the typical decent point and shoot that's out on the market today. And in fact, as camera phones go, it's really pretty good. But I didn't love the phone part of this camera phone. And even as a digital camera, it's probably not a substitute for your main point and shoot camera. The shutter lag isn't great, and though there's a bunch of different shooting modes, xenon flash, autofocus, and a whole bunch of other features, they kind of are, some of them are a little bit spotty. For example, smile shot, which as the name suggests means that when your subject is smiling, me in this case, it will only then take the picture. The problem is it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, and when it does work, it actually is kind of slow. So good luck getting your kids to pose. But we're going to put it to the test. I'm about to smile here, and with any luck, this will work. There you go, it just took my picture. So you saw there was a little bit of a lag there. Now it does take good pictures for a camera phone. You can upload them directly to places like Flickr and Photo Bucket and Kodak Gallery. Now as a phone, again, I had some problems. It does have a touch screen, it does email, it does music, all the things you would expect a phone would do nowadays. But the web browsing experience wasn't great. The, the music uh, does not have a, a standard audio jack, so you have to use kind of the lame headphones that come with it, and, uh, and I had some other problems on the phone side of it. Cost $250 with a two-year contract from T-Mobile. I don't think it's a great substitute for a good digital camera or even a compact uh, point-and-shoot digital camera, but in terms of the camera you always have with you because you always have your phone with you, it's not bad. For USA Today and Talking Tech, I'm Ed Baig, and we will see you next time.